Welcome to this episode of Video Drone by DIY3Dtech.com. I'm out here on Lake Huron. I'm trying the iPhone 5S. I'm trying an Apple device here uh, connected to Wi-Fi with the Spark to see if there's uh, any improvements. Because uh, as you guys know, I've tried a few Android devices and that has not worked well. So I've already checked hover, did my maintenance checks, 10 miles visibility, things are all good. So I'm going to go ahead and confirm takeoff. So at least takeoff works. In this case, I've got video running on the Spark. I'm going to let it sit in a second. Just do a quick visual check to make sure everything's good. Uh, and it looks like it. So uh, tell you what, let's go ahead and take this out over the, uh, the water and get some views over here. Just kind of taking it out. And we are getting telemetry. And we're just kind of taking it back up over the water. One meters altitude. And we're not too high distance. above the deck. We're only about a meter. I'm going to go a little bit more than that. Well, actually, I'm a meter from my, my altitude. Now I'm actually about almost 10 feet above the water because this is a good uh, three foot dip down here so I'm out now meters altitude. Uh, about uh, 120 some so distance. so far so good the uh, the breakup you know I'm not getting disconnect issues like I was on Android I'm doing screen recording so I'm really hoping the screen recording is working because I got a little bit of wind in my back so I'm hoping that this isn't picking up the wind and if it is you know again altitude. apologies 173 so distance. again this is working pretty good battery. And uh, again, let's so let's spin it around. Morning. Disconnected. Now I got to disconnect. Twelve meters altitude. Now it's back connected, so I'm still getting disconnects. It doesn't seem to be battery. as bad as um, as it was with. Uh, boy, I'm getting a lot of. Uh, Really overdriving the camera there. A lot of glare coming in. I've got uh, the polarizer on there, so battery. yeah, because I'm only out 165 meters, so that that's really nothing for this guy. But uh, bringing it back in, so let's let's bring it back towards us a little bit. Uh, so far, only one one disconnect issue. Altitude. Still not happy with any disconnects. Distance. Um, percent battery. So bringing it back in towards shore, and you can see me down on the ground right over there, and it's coming back in. Meters altitude. Seventy-five. Looks like all those distance. people are gone down there, so everybody quit playing battery. on the ice, and everybody made it off safely. So that's a good thing. Let's bring it in a little bit more, because what I'm going to do is I want to run it down. 12 meters altitude. I'll bring it in a little bit more distance. this way. Warning. Boy, there was a glint, real big glint battery. off the uh, that polarizer. Wow. 12 and so I want to pull it back this way. I don't want to run into the trees. 66 but I want to... Just kind of run it down. Hope screen recording and everything is working on this. I've never really used the iOS 11 screen recording. So um, altitude. 18 meters distance. I'm still really thinking about getting, what is it, the clear battery. view? Uh, what do you guys think of the clear view? I'd really be interested to hear. Do you, do you, does anybody have it? Uh, again, it's supposed to work with uh, any of the Go 4 app copters. You know, so maybe that's a solution to this. Uh, will the Spark work OTG with the uh, um, uh, Clearview monitor or tablet or whatever? Uh, I like the fact it also does screen recording. It's got dual SD cards, but she ain't cheap. So I was looking at a 5.5 inch, and that's around 500 uh, bucks. And so uh, I can pick up a used uh, iPad battery. Mini 4 for around 200 so I don't know which is a better way to go. 
Um, you know, you know, kind of getting serious about this. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm thinking the Sky View, you know, might be worth the purchase price, and I can altitude. use it with, you know, the Spark and the Mavic. Uh, but again, battery. you know, does that really make the most sense to spend that kind of money? Uh, so, because one of the things I, I'm really kind of curious about, I think it's the the Atel is supposed to come out with a competitive Mavic product. Uh, and I've been keeping altitude. an eye on that, and I've been thinking about trying that, uh, just just to see. So far, battery. I really like the Mavic, so I'm actually thinking about you know selling the Spark and just focusing on the Mavic. Uh, but I don't know yet. As we just kind of go down here, we're basically at the end. I'm going to turn this back around. Twelve meters altitude. And come back the other way. Three hundred forty-four meters distance. My battery is at fifty-two percent. I keep battery. I keep forgetting. I am not flying the Mavic. That is one of the big things that I've noticed when I switch between the Mavic and the Spark is I forget about the difference in battery because with a 20 plus minute battery altitude. on the Mavic, it's like you don't even have to think about it because battery. I like to keep my flights, uh, especially for these videos, around 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, you kind of get bored. And so, uh, you know, I find it a pretty good fit. And that's where I think the, the Spark really works out nice for that. But... Um, uh, you know, because it's got, you know, pretty much a, you know, 10 minute envelope that I can work in. And, uh, man, I'm just listening to that ice. I'm not sure you can hear it on the, uh, thing, but it's, it's just creaking and cracking. And that's why those, those folks down there that were playing around on it, uh, I thought were just freaking crazy. 12 meters so I'm just kind of walking back up the beach here. Meters distance. And I gotta say, so far, so battery. good with it so I think I've only had one or two one one dropout for sure but see now my my phone is it, it I mean the the power consumption of this is just freaking crazy meters altitude. Um, you know so I flew once with the Mavic distance. and once with the this, now with the spark here and my phone is telling me I got a power problem already so uh, I, I'm not sure what the heck that is going on with that so, 12 meters just kind of altitude, flying it back here. 90 meters distance, 39 percent battery. Just trying to look, there's some people coming up the beach, so I want to be careful. Morning. Just in case. Disconnected. So, I keep getting uh, low battery on this phone. So I'm going to tell you what. I'm just going to bring this guy altitude, back. 43 meters distance. And 37 uh, percent battery. Recording I'm going to save out the video and uh, just bring her back in for a landing. So, so far the test was actually pretty good. The iPhone definitely proved better than the uh, Androids. I mean, the Androids, I mean, just constant disconnects. And so let's bring this down a little bit. And uh, let's just nudge it over a little altitude. bit. Three meters distance. Thirty-one percent battery. And uh, let's see. Let's uh, bring it down. Zero meters altitude. Zero meters distance. All right, so battery. good flight there. I want to stop the screen recording uh, before the phone dies. I don't really quite understand what's happening here. I want to take a look at something. So, yeah, the phone is almost dead. Now, I had 100%. When I started this flight, I had 100%. And now it's between two flights. This has totally consumed the battery of this iPhone S. So, anyways, don't quite know what to think of that. That's uh, not a good thing. So... But anyways, the flight was pretty good. Spark over Lake Huron, always a good time. So give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you guys are thinking about for lunch. I know, Stan, it's probably Blue Apron for you. And uh, But anyways, we'll catch you guys all in the next video. Cheers.